Shalom, y'all. This is Donna with Shalom on the Row. Flies. Um, we left off with me leaving Bluff, Utah, and heading into Colorado. I was headed there to go and pick up my mother, take her on a trip to Oklahoma and Texas. And my plan was to do that, get back to Colorado, and be back on the road again pretty quick like. So, you know, I was going to take maybe two, maybe three weeks at the most to do that. I ended up being there for over two months. And so, you know, I'm going to skip those things and move on to when I got back on the road to start heading out of Colorado and start heading north. I'm also today going to talk about some of the costs of traveling. Not, not real in depth or anything like that, but how I'm able to travel on a tight budget. Talk a little bit about that, and also I'm going to show you something that I make while I'm traveling in my van that's a little unusual. So stick around, watch the show, and of course hit the subscribe button, push the like, and leave me comments so I know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching. is Williams Fork Reservoir in northern Colorado. It's kind of near to Kremling, so it's not super far north, but I think it's just gorgeous out here. Love how it's so still today, get the reflection of the clouds on the water. So beautiful. Look at that stand of trees there in the distance. Huh, <laughs> interesting looking. So beautiful and lush and green out here. Fabulous. More pretty. built at a time I'm trying to show the water down there um, anyway they probably built at a time when it was lush and green and beautiful or bought it at, at a time like that and now it just looks so desolate but the nice thing about forests they do grow back eventually and you can see here that there's a lot of green and amongst all that green you know, our baby trees. Elevation 9683. It's probably too windy to hear. 
So I'm standing right in the middle of Grand County and Jackson County. Let's see if you can see this. On the Jackson County side here, it says it's the Atlantic watershed. And on the Grand County side, it's Pacific watershed. of nomads who you know it doesn't matter gas prices or anything else they go somewhere and definitely will stay for the full amount of time that they're allowed to whether that's 10 days or 14 days and then they'll move you know just a little ways down the road and do the same thing and they love it that way and that's great I have certainly figured out I feel most at home when I'm on a road trip and I may do some two-week camping at a time here and there but I really 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 just love seeing new sites and I try to take different roads all the time right now I'm on a road that I'm pretty sure is the path I took into Wyoming last year but for some reason it's looking different this year. I haven't quite figured that one out. And it may be different. I'll have to go back and look after I get stopped somewhere. But I know I'm headed to the same place as I was headed to last year, which is the hot spring. You know, that's my plan today. I'm going to go to the hot spring. There's a place, hopefully, hopefully to camp real close to the hot spring. I'm hoping that I will like it and that I will have internet because I would like to stay there for at least a couple of nights. And heck, if I really, really like it, I'll stay there a little longer. Because right now, the path that I'm taking is to visit some friends, family, friends, and there's just not many ways you can go in Wyoming, uh, in the southern part of Wyoming. And so, driving through territory that I definitely have driven through before. I've got two places planned right now to camp. And, you know, one is the one that I'm going to today. And then one more before I get to visit people in Idaho. And I could look and find more places to camp. I even know some more places to camp if I went uh, on a path that I took last year. But that would be out of the way and I have gone that way before. So right now I'm thinking I will just be traveling along roads that I've traveled numerous times. One of which being I-80 in southern Wyoming, which I can't stand. But I think I'm only on, on I-80 for like 120, 130 miles and then done with it. And so it is what it is. And I could take a different direction into Idaho. I wonder if this is what's causing the glare. Nope. <laughs> you see the little rainbow through there? <laughs> kind of interesting. Anyway, um, yeah, I thought that might have been doing it. Oh, maybe it is. Nope, it's not. Yeah, yeah I'm starting to see National Forest Access that appears to be open now, which is lovely. Anyway, that was my thought that I am a nomad that's tr truly, truly traveling is very much in my blood. I, you know, it's not just the camping lifestyle, which I love the camping lifestyle too. And, I'm, you know, I don't mind staying with, with friends for long periods of time. A couple of summers ago, I stayed basically around the Leadville, Boulder, Buena Vista, Salida, you know, in, a, in an area of Colorado that was not too large of an area. I stayed, I stayed there most of the summer. I took a couple of little side trips and, and I did enjoy it very much, had a lot of fun. A lot of hiking and exploring some weird little towns and stuff like that. It was a great time. But what's in my 
my blood most of the time is to roam. And so even with the gas prices this year, I'm going to try to roam in such a way that, you know, I keep the prices, the expenditures down because I just can't afford to do too much. So I'll probably be tra traveling a little slower than I did last year. However, I absolutely want to travel. So who knows, you know, when that opportunity will be taken from me for whatever reason. So I'm going to do it now while I can. See you guys later. Gusty winds likely. Yeah, I just got moved over a foot while ago. Um, you know, I, I do everything I can to keep prices down. I do not buy extra stuff. I pretty much buy food, gas, water, propane. And I don't eat out much. If I'm traveling alone, I don't eat out at all, which is fabulous. You know, that saves that money. And I don't, I don't buy little trinkets. And everywhere I go, I buy very little other than the basic necessities. I'm getting my soap on here at the hot springs, Hobo Hot Springs at Saratoga, Wyoming. Wish you were here. I'm just north of Saratoga, Wyoming, and I'm going to the North Platte River access area. What it turns out to be. I've never been here. Just popped over a hill. It's a washboard road, but I think it's just like 1.6 miles off of the highway. see signs of stuff being left. So, I'm going to try this out. Let's see if this is where I wish to be. Foot public access area. No overnight camping. Okay. So, I need to turn around and go the other way. Darn. It is real pretty here, though. with some sheep. That'll be a first. Maybe I'll be camping with the sheep tonight. Little lammies. <laughs> okay guys, you can let me through or not. Come on, move over. Move it on. All right. Thank you. Thank you, little lammy. Oh, look at this pretty horse. Sure hope I'm getting camp with all these critters. I think I do. I think I see what might be a vault toilet. No open fires. General regulations. Camping in designated area only. Camping limit five days. No open fires or fireworks. Littering is prohibited. I can go with all that. 
So I'm fairly level right here. I'm gonna get out, take a look around, but I have a feeling this is going to be home for the night. Um, I won't be getting much in the way of solar, which I should be fairly well charged up for today. And so I should be okay. All right, there's my van. There's the river. Something I used to do when I lived in Sticks and Bricks is I made homemade kombucha. Don't know if you've ever drank kombucha or not. It's something that from the first time I drank it, I fell in love with it. And so I've barely had any since I've been on the road because it's just so expensive to buy in the store. And, you know, I'm, I'm living a very cheap lifestyle. At some point in time while I was making it, I got my niece to making it. And so here a while back, she said that she was going to start making it again. I was like, well, all right. So whenever I come to Oklahoma, I might get a uh, SCOBY and start her from you. And so I think she just made it once and <laughs> forgot about it again. But she had plenty of SCOBYs and starter juice. And so she gave me some of that. I now have it in my van. I don't know how long I'm going to keep doing it. But I'll show you what I do. I mean, kind of, because I don't know. This is the first time I've made it in the van, and I still haven't completely made it. So here's what I did today. So I got to my camp spot. I put some green tea and black tea into this jar, and I set it outside. It was pretty late. It was like 4.15, and I'm in a really shaded area and so it hasn't really brewed all that much so I'm gonna leave it overnight I'll probably set it out in the Sun again tomorrow and then I will add it to this little guy uh, what is that you may ask it's kind of hard to see but that is a kombucha scoby and I haven't made any tea in probably I don't know five six days and you also have to add sugar to your tea. And then, so you put the sweetened tea into this jar with the scoby, that little critter thing there, and the juice. And in about a week to 10 days, it, this stuff will eat the sugar and make kombucha. Like I said... I don't know how long it's going to last, how long I'll keep doing it on the road because it does take up space. Right now it's living in my sink. I've got the big jug in this hat and the little jug in another hat just to keep them from baking around. And I put them here in the sink while I'm driving. But if they're going to live here, they're going to have to find a more permanent home or I'm going to have to really hate giving it up. And right now, I'm kind of changing my way of eating, so I really don't know how much longer I'm going to do this at this time, because it doesn't really fit into my way of eating. There was no one else here whenever I got here earlier today. But I now have... Oh, this is me. I now have one... Two and another road trek makes three. Four. There you go. Not for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, that's funny. Yep. See you later.